Midway through production of Scream, Kevin Williamson quickly realized that this story was not over and he got writing Scream 2, which would be released one year after Scream. <laughs> series of murders, as Sydney acclimates to college life, someone donning the ghost face costume begins a new string of killings. Once again, Wes Craven really knows how to entertain and make a really enjoyable film. And as for horror sequels, it really is one of the best horror sequels out there. Is this film as good as the original? No, but thankfully, Randy reminds us of that within the first 20 minutes. But seriously, this is one of the more enjoyable horror sequels out there. And for the crunch time that they had to produce this film, as well as having massive rewrites due to leaks, I think they did a phenomenal job. As for the cast and the characters, I would say the characters in Scream 2 are just as lively as the characters in Scream, but they're not as likable. But that's not a bad thing, it's just a different set of characters that Sydney is being placed around. But of course, we've got the returning characters of Sydney, Gale, Dewey, and Randy, which are all fantastic and amazing. They are extremely likable and entertaining. Uh, obviously, Gale's not as likable as she will become later in the series, but all of the returning characters are amazing and all of the newcomers are entertaining at the least. As for the story, Kevin Williamson really did quite exceptionally well, and the fact that this film is as good as it is says something about his ability to adapt and create stories that people want to see even after those original leaks leaked. The killer twist is well done, but it's not nearly as shocking as the original, and honestly, my one complaint, my one complaint about the story in this film is kind of just how they leave off the film, and that's not on Kevin Williamson, it's kind of more so on the music choice that they chose, and it just leaves Sydney off on a little bit too high of a note. It feels happier than it should, if that makes sense. Just where Sydney's leaving off, walking off onto the college campus after surviving all that, it just feels like the song that plays doesn't quite fit. So that is my one complaint. As for the visuals, this film looks as good as the original, just with a clearly bigger budget, more elaborate set design, and more vicious kills. The kills that are shown are once again brutal, and the kills that are off screen are still very effective. As for the score, it is really good, but it's not my favorite in the franchise. I did, however, enjoy the use of the poppy songs after certain death sequences. It just the juxtaposition of someone getting murdered and then a really fun, upbeat song playing afterwards is hilarious. And then one of the only times that doesn't happen is spoilers. I am going to get into one quick spoiler is when Randy dies. You don't get any upbeat music. The direct scene after Randy dies, that's not what happens. It's a, it's a bell ringing. And I just thought that was interesting. Moving on to the final thoughts, Scream 2 is really enjoyable and one of the best horror sequels out there. The opening scene is super creepy and awesome. It was also cool seeing Matthew Lillard in the background and Jerry O'Connell was amazing as Derek. Scream 2 is a really fun time, but it is one of the films in the franchise that I don't go back to rewatch all that often. It's more of like an every five years type of movie, but with Scream being popular again and the franchise being alive, I am, you know, obviously re-watching these going into Scream 6. Speaking of that, thank you guys for watching. Stick around for my reviews of all the other films in the franchise leading up to Scream 6. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm Carter. Peace.